What's up guys? So that hyperlapse you just saw was actually shot on the brand new GoPro Hero 8 that was just announced today. Louis, you're making a lot of noise. I'm, I'm trying to make a review video here. Come on. All right, that's better. As I was saying before Louis rudely interrupted me, that footage was shot on the brand new GoPro Hero 8, which was just announced today. The camera is so new, I don't even have one. Okay, I'll keep patting you. Sorry, Louis has insisted that I do this entire review while uh, patting him at the same time. So I hope you guys understand. So the camera is so new, I don't even have my own one, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pre-production model for a couple of hours. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my initial thoughts. There was a lot of things that I absolutely love about the camera and one thing that, that kind of annoyed me, which I will talk to you guys about at the end of the video. Are you having fun there, Louis? GoPro introduced something called Hyper Smooth with the GoPro Hero 7, which was a game changer. It was electronic image stabilization that almost gives you gimbal-like quality when you're using these cameras. It's insane. And when it first came out on the last GoPro, it blew everybody's mind. And they have Hyper Smooth version 2.0 on this new one, which is like twice as smooth as the old one, which didn't even seem possible, but it is. So I'm gonna show you guys just how smooth it is on this clip of me walking down the stairs at the Sydney Opera House. So this is a real test for the camera stabilization. I'm currently walking down the stairs at the Sydney Opera House. So you would expect it would be pretty bumpy. <sighs> I'm pretty puffed out. I literally ran up these stairs, Rocky style. I think I overestimated my fitness. Whew. How smooth was that, right? And something else you might have noticed is the audio sounds 10 times better than the audio on the previous GoPros. Their microphones have never been good because they have to be waterproof and that affects the uh, audio quality. But it's actually really, really good on the new one. They also now have a front-facing microphone on the GoPro, which is a first. Speaking of microphones though, this is an absolute game changer. This is something I'm super excited about. They're actually bringing out accessories with the new GoPro. There's gonna be a mini microphone that attaches to it so that you get superior audio quality, which is gonna be a game changer for people like me who want to vlog with it. Because in the past, I've used the GoPro as sort of like my my B cam, if that makes sense. But now I feel like I could definitely do full vlogs on a GoPro if I needed to and be relatively happy with the audio quality. Or so I hope, I haven't actually used the new microphones yet, but I'm guessing it's gonna drastically improve the audio quality. There's also a detachable LED light that you can put on it to get better lighting. Also a detachable flip screen as well, which is pretty dope. So you can actually see what you're shooting when you're vlogging. So they're all upgrades that I'm super excited about and I could see myself using every single one of them. Another feature that's really cool is you can now live stream straight to YouTube from the camera, from a little GoPro. You can literally just be filming and live streaming to YouTube, that's pretty cool. The Hyper Smooth that I talked about earlier, they've actually upgraded that. On the GoPro Hero 7, you could only use Hyper Smooth up to 60 frames a second. Now you can use it at all frame rates. So you can be shooting at 240 frames a second with hyper smooth on so that's really cool because it used to be you would have to think to yourself okay am i going to be using slow motion or am i not and then you'd have to choose whether you want to use hyper smooth or not based on whether you're pre-planning on using slow motion now you don't even have to worry about any of that you got hyper smooth in every single frame rate which is dope kane and i did a lot of tests trying to test out just how smooth the camera was we rode around sydney on super 73s we rode on bumpy surfaces to really put it through its paces i even did a running test just to see how smooth the footage was so uh here you go the running test <laughs> three two one this is how smooth it is when I'm running and everybody's looking at me like I'm a freaking weirdo talking to a camera. But, I think it was smooth. Sorry guys, I have a weird job.
Yeah, well, that was awkward. People gave me a lot of funny looks, but I did it for you guys just so you could see exactly how smooth it was. And I was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly impressed with how smooth that footage was. All in all, I love the camera, but I did tell you guys there is one feature that kind of annoyed me, and that is they have a pause button on the hyperlapse feature. So basically, you can be making a hyperlapse and then hit the pause button and it goes into regular real-time mode and then you hit the pause button again and it goes back into time-lapse mode, which is freaking amazing. It's a feature I never knew I wanted so much in a camera that no other camera has ever had. So cool, but the one annoying thing is when you pause it and go into real time, it doesn't actually have audio because I was thinking this would be such an interesting way to start a vlog with a hyperlapse, turn it around, vlog, and then hit the pause button again and go back into a hyperlapse. That would just be like a crazy way to start a vlog, but unfortunately it doesn't have audio in there. I feel like I'm being a little bit ungrateful complaining about that because it's a feature that I never knew I wanted until this camera came out and now I want it like so insanely bad. So GoPro, if you're listening, please, please, please do a future upgrade, like a firmware update or something like that that fixes this so that you can have audio when it's paused because I think that's so cool. It's still a great feature. You can still do some really creative things with it. All in all, I really love the camera though. I'm definitely gonna be getting one when it comes out. If you guys liked this review, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more review videos, let me know. See you guys.